Hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. In this video, we are going to be talking about something new. So if you're interested in this video, please continue watching this video up to the very end because we're going to be talking about something new. And that is, so I have a lot of vocabulary. Uh, I read a lot, I listen a lot, but when it comes to speaking, sometimes I stuck in the middle and uh, my mind not get the right words whenever I speak. And this is something that really brings me down and keeps me frustrated all the time. This was the question that one of my friend asked from me that how to overcome with these fears. You know, guys, whenever you want to speak in a public, so, you know, research tell us that 85% people, you know, get stuck when it comes to public speaking. Like if you can speak uh, among five people or, uh, you know, uh, among two people, among three people, like if you can speak, so you're you know, like you will be able to speak with, uh, you know, uh, among lots of audience, like you will be able to do so. But when it comes to speaking, you know, sometimes our mind gets stuck because if you uh, English is not your native tongue, it's your second language. So like we do not come from the background where it's nature for a person to speak English. So it happens in each a natural phenomena. You need not to be worried about that. Whatever you do initially, you will feel uh, you will face lots of problem. You will face lots of difficulty. But in order to get success in in life you will have to embrace failure you will have to create a failure mountain that's when you will be uh, you know you will be able to get success in your life so success is not that much easy like uh, like you don't have to adopt an easy or short pathway it's not like that you will have to sacrifice you will have to uh, invest lots of time on yourself and you will have to like give sacrifice as I mentioned before this is what you will have to do and that's when you will easily um, able to do so in your life for like uh, you will accomplish that desire for whatever you were struggling imagine that you were struggling for this language and uh, you face lots of problem and difficulty so then this video is for you because i'm going to be talking about all the difficulty all the problems that people face in their daily lives and if you don't have a partner you need not to be worried about that because i have some, i have a good news for you how you can practice with yourself and how you can master this language in your home and in your room so this is what today's lesson is about so the first trick that I'm going to tell you in this video is like lots of people say that my mind don't get the right words when it comes to speaking. So you need not to be worried about that. You will have to create an imaginative stories. Like if you are done with the tenses, if you are done with active wise, passive wise, blah, blah, blah. There are lots of things. Uh, English grammar. There's the, like sometimes people think, what if I master my grammar and then I then I will be able to be fluent in English. In reality, it's not like that. Grammar play a crucial role when it comes to speaking English. Like you have to know about uh, all the tenses, active wise, passive wise, direct and direct, the most important preposition, articles like you will have to place. Yes, if you were struggling for spoken English, then this is enough for you. Because if you want to uh, work on academic writing, if you want to write something formal, then yes, grammar uh, play a very crucial role over there because grammar uh, like you will have to know about all the conjunctions like uh, sorry um, pro, uh, like uh, semicolons uh, and uh, punctuations that how you will have to put punctuation how you will have to put semicolons hyphen commas like what question marks and their functions because you will have to know about all these things uh, how you will have to create an outline and how you will have to support that outline through this statement because this play a very important role in our daily lives when it comes to writing when you want to write something so uh, academic and uh, grammar uh, then that is where play a very important role and if you want to just speak in English and if you want to be fluent in English like uh, speaking and if you have difficulty with speaking so you, what you will have to do you will have to uh, you will have to create uh, write a, at least five to six pages each and every single day you will have to write and you will have to write your daily routine you will have to describe your day like how was your day when did you go, get up early in the morning and uh, what what was the first thing that you did in the morning you will have to write all the activities that you did in the entire day when uh, when you go to bed at night so you will have to write all the things and apart from that you will have to uh, make a, a list for the next day like if, if you want to make your day memorable each and every single day the, the, the first and the foremost thing that you will have to do you will have to make a list that tomorrow is going on tomorrow will be my name why my next day my new day and first of all i will do this work that work you will have to create work life balance because work life balance play a very crucial role in our daily lives 
so you will have to make an out list uh, you know and if you make a uh, you know make a list uh, and if you like uh, make a habit of it you will be more productive in your life because this is something that i did in my life and it giving me such great result and i'm sure it will give you too so uh, lots of people think that uh, i have a lot of vocabulary and uh, i read a lot you know when you read a lot your reading skills will improve when you listen a lot your listening skills will improve and when you write a lot your writing skills will improve and when you speak when it comes to speaking when you speak a lot your speaking skills will improve because if like if you have memorized something and if you do not speak how your tongue will be able to speak that so try to speak as much as possible because there are lots of ways from which your brand can different kind of things like words, phrases and you have to become a word catcher in order to learn a language you have to be focused like what others say like if you're watching a movie if you're like if you're watching me right now so you will have to observe like observing play a very important role imitation when it comes to learning imitation play a very important role when it comes to learn a language so imitation also play an important role observing like observing Observe all the gestures like Emma, like uh, what's, what sort of body gestures that I use. So you will have to know and you will have to observe each and every gesture that I use um, in this video. And uh, English will also give you lots of confidence, guys. Believe me, it has changed my life and I'm sure it will change your life. Too. Though I'm not uh, that much good speaker, but to some extent, I would say that I'm at least there. I can speak to some extent good English because uh, uh, there was a time in my life I will, you know, I used to stuck in the middle. Sometime I used to put lots of efforts in the middle and this is something you know that this or this were the problem that i faced in my life and i'm sure you are also struggling with that so in order to overcome this you know the more you practice the better you will be so practice as much as possible and i'm sure it will change your life and learn english before it's too late so guys this bring me to the end of this video so if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe to it right now and press the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you should never ever miss any update of my video i will be back another day in another vlog till then take care and goodbye